A young construction worker is tonight fighting for life after a terrible workplace accident deep inside Perth's new airport tunnel. It's not the first time a worker's been hurt on the multi-billion dollar project. The construction union says it's been raising safety concerns on the site for months. An unfolding emergency two storeys below the ground. Workers hearing an explosion as a compressed air hose ruptures, striking a 26-year-old man in the face. A delicate rescue operation soon underway. More than 30 emergency personnel working to remove the man from a concrete station box where he was working. His severe injuries meaning aerial support was called in to lift him to safety by crane. Then he was rushed to hospital. Today the site was shut down as WorkSafe and the Public Transport Authority investigate. Unions furious after they say repeated safety concerns were raised. We've had one other incident we think similar to this, certainly an incident where brackets have come off in the tunnel and someone's been hit before. The CFMEU claim they've been refused access to the underground tunnel. They're currently locked in a legal dispute with project operator Salini Impreglio over worker conditions and pay. Just nine months ago, a worker was electrocuted on the same Forestfield Airport Link project in Bayswater, a 31-year-old man suffering severe burns. They will not allow us in the tunnel. We are currently taking that to the courts. We believe there will be a fatality on the project if they don't improve their systems of work. Salini Impreglio couldn't be contacted today. The Italian industrial group won the contract for Perth's multi-billion dollar airport tunnel link two years ago. The safety and well-being of the workers are paramount. I trust the contractors are looking into it. It's been unfortunate. Anyone that goes to work should be allowed to go there safely and come home safely. Checks and balances must be done to make sure that happens. The PTA says all other high pressure connections are being checked, but work will continue at other sites. And Jacqueline Robson is at Royal Perth Hospital. Jackie, the injured worker remains in intensive care tonight. That's right, Alice. The 26-year-old is fighting for life here at RPH with severe injuries to his face and shoulder. Now, the experienced construction worker is originally from New Zealand. He's been living in Australia for the past decade, currently living here in Perth. That's requiring some of his family members to fly over to Perth to be by his side. It's understandably a very worrying time for a family so far away. Alice? Of course. Thank you, Jackie.